Welcome back, or if it's your first time, then welcome. Gonna keep the intro quick so we can get right into the workout, but today we've got a 10 minute booty burn. I know a lot of you guys may be traveling over the holidays, maybe don't have access to equipment, but maybe you just wanna get some movement in, feel good, or you could add this to the end of a longer leg day. Either way, we're gonna crush it. There are 16 movements, 30 seconds on, five second um, transition in between. We're gonna start standing, do kind of like a squat lunges um, moves. Then we're gonna go down to the mat, do a like bridge kind of combo. And then we're gonna do a like quadruped um, finisher. So follow along, I'm gonna be taking you along with me. Welcome to the apartment. It's nice to have a place that I can film. Hope you guys like it. And make sure to like, subscribe, and go. All right guys, get ready. Our first move is going to be a squat. So you wanna stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. You can go a little bit wider. Everyone's biomechanics are different, so you gotta kinda of focus on what feels good for you. So we're gonna squat down as if you're sitting in your feet, and come back up. Squatting down, coming back up. Really think about engaging your glutes as you squat down. All right, next move is gonna be lateral squats. So go to one end of your mat, and we're gonna be walking in our squat. If you want an additional challenge, you can stay low. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult because your glutes are going to be engaged the whole time. This is also, oh, all right. On to the next one, we're gonna do alternating reverse lunge. So come to the top of your mat, and now we're gonna be going backwards. Taking the step backwards, going slow and controlled. Don't rush this movement, go at your own pace. So we've got these reverse lunges, and then the next is gonna be a curtsy lunge. So the difference is that in the curtsy lunge, you're going to be going back at a diagonal angle, whereas with the reverse lunge, you're just stepping straight back. And that's crazy, we're already three exercises down. Very little, very little transition time that's gonna help keep our heart rate up. All right, so now we're in those curtsy lunges. So stepping back at about a 45 degree angle. So both this movement as well as the lateral squats, those are going to be working more on your outer glutes. Which is good. We wanna be working all three of our glute muscles during this quick all right, last movement in this kind of standing combo is gonna be a sway squat. So you're standing pretty wide, and then you're gonna be going left to right. So staying low as if you are lunging side to side, coming through the middle, staying at about a 40, I mean a 90 degree. But no. And then after this combo, we're gonna be going down to the floor for some bridges. So first we're just gonna do a normal bridge, tuck your back, and we're just gonna be taking it up for 30 seconds. Squeezing those glutes, thinking about engaging your hamstrings to lift you up. After this, we're gonna be doing a 30 second hold at the top. All right, you get five seconds, shake out your legs, then tap, embrace, lift up, and we're gonna stay here. Stay here. 
breathing. After this, we're gonna be doing single leg glute bridges. So on the left side, switch to the right side. This workout is going really fast. I'm pretty sure we're about halfway through already. So hopefully you're enjoying. And hopefully this workout is helpful to you. You know, if you are super busy, remember that it doesn't matter, you know, if you don't have the time right now in your life to get dedicate to doing, you know, hour-long workouts every day, get what you can in. Doing some form of movement is better. Oh, I'm supposed to be going up and down. Go up and down. If you were holding it, it's okay too. You really want to be feeling this in your left glute and hamstring. But something is going to be better than nothing. All right, rest, switch legs. Now your right foot is down. So we're going to be focusing on right glute and hamstring. This holiday season, just focus on moving in a way that feels good to you. If you only do five workouts and now you can only do three, don't stress about that, okay? Because you know it's better to get those three in than to be like, well, can't do my five, you might as well do none. Or same thing, you know, you only have 15 minutes. You might just say, well, you know, if I can't work out for an hour, I'm not gonna do it at all. Now we're gonna go up and we're gonna pulse. We're gonna um, do adductor pulses or adductor pulses. So we're going out and in. Out and in. So holding again. This is our last one though, that's in our bridge position. Whew. Hopefully you're feeling the burn. Then we're gonna go over our, our hands and our knees. We got some donkey kicks, straight leg lifts, and high uh, leg kicks. All right, flip it over. And let's go, donkey kick. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all one side. This way, that glute stays engaged that whole time and it's going to be really challenging but really good. This is our last combo. So three moves, three moves, you know, on each side, and then you're done. And you can go on with your day. Or you could add in another workout, you could add in another leg day workout, or you could add in some core work, or you could go and do a cool down video. Make sure you are taking the time to stretch though, that is super important. Especially since working your glutes and hip mobility is really important for a lot of these moves. Oh, so now we're doing straight leg lift. And then our last one is going to be our fire hydrant. So lifting out to the side. All right, embrace your core. Make sure you're not rounding or arching your back. Out to the side. After this, I realized I should check and make sure that camera is still filming. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do this again. There we go. That one felt extra long. All right, switching legs. Yes, still coming. All right, let's go. So, donkey kicks. It's great when technology wants to cooperate. Because I just got home from work and I'm making like a spaghetti squash lasagna bowl. That's what I'm trying to do. I guess kind of that one is like a lasagna bowl. Um, and so make sure you check out my Instagram because I post lots of little recipe hacks. But that is cooking in the oven. I got our straight leg lifts so that when I finish this, I can go finish that and then eat my food. That's really simple though. I am just all about finding quick, healthy, nutritious, plant-based recipes that are going to help you fuel and be fueled. That's what I am all about. 
about the nature. I have a lot of different recipes on my Instagram. And if you ever have questions about like meal prep tips, I got you because I have four jobs. So meal prepping is definitely one of those things that I've got to do. All right, last move. Fire hydrant to the left. And then you're done. You can go eat your, your spaghetti squash lasagna foods, okay? Just kidding. Let me know though what you're eating too. You drop down the comments. And let me know what you thought of this 10 minute workout. I hope that you'll join me for another one soon. I'm super proud of you guys. You're making the time. Carving out 10 minutes for yourself. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.